I'm SuTapTap, and this is Toho Luna Nights. I'm not usually big into the Toho stuff, but uh, ladybugs, they just want to win. Um, but this is a Metroidvania. Don't, don't do that game. I'll turn this car around. Um, this is a Metroidvania though, and it's a little bit loud on my end. Um, quit configuration, there we go. Up, move, okay. Uh, we can just leave that to default, yeah, sure. Using a controller here, which I recommend for pretty much any platformer. Um, unless it was designed with the mouse, or, you know, mouse and keyboard in mind, of course. So I believe this star's time stop you made, lady. Suyika, I think her name is. This is spooky vampire lady number two. There's two different spooky vampire ladies. See, I know my Toho's. Those are, the, those are the ones, those are the only ones. Those are the, the shouty judge lady. I like the shouty judge lady. And she's never in anything. <laughs> I looked, I, I asked around and like, um, it turns out shouty judge lady is in almost none of the games. And especially none of the, um, like, um, the fan games that were coming out at the time. For some reason, Toho fan games got localized before the original games. I'm not sure what happened there. But a lot of the fan games are actually pretty good. This, a ridiculous amount of them. A really good pixel art in this though, and it's a Metroidvania, so I thought I'd try this out. Um, fun fact, Suika here is a partial inspiration of one of my favorite uh, games in general in Metroidvania's uh, Bunny Must Die. I have a bunch of videos of that. That's the only game I've ever done speedruns of, actually. And um, really good, really hard game, but I really do recommend it. Um, it's out on, there's a localized version on PS4 now. It's on Steam, a harder version on Steam. It's uh, pretty accessible if you play the PS4 version, though. I don't know who Patchy is. This isn't, this isn't Gensoku, whatever you say that. Okay. So I played a couple of these other um, fan games, and obviously they're all wildly different quality and a little bit different. You gotta have power limiters. This is one thing I've learned. Everyone, everyone in Toho can kill everyone forever. They're like all, they're all OCs basically, but they have like power limiters and they just never, you know, it, it's Dragon Ball Z basically. They're all Goku. It's like 500 Gokus versus other Gokus. Oh, so this is time slow thingy. <laughs> yep, I know this one. Um, how to play to hold down the aim or these trigger snails. Oh, we don't get bullet time, we get snail time. Different. Attack with A, jump with A. Okay. Attacks will use MP, you cannot attack when there's no MP. Oh, I see! Huh. Alright, kind of a glide going on. Literal revolving door was... Oh, oh, it's snail time. I got it. <laughs> Giant Bean Man! Okay. That's my favorite Toho character right there. Mr. Bean Man. It's Mr. Bean Man. Of course you know Mr. Bean Man. Real. Oh, like the little water. Oh no, the cat! How are cats enemies? Cats are friends! Cats are friends, not enemies! I don't like this game anymore. I guess they're two-tailed cats. They're, they're abominations. It's okay. How to play three. Blue, gray, suddenly approaching enemy. Also, this gray is even in a Metroidvania. Huh. Grazing is one of those things I've not been the best at. I know these peas level up. Oh, we got levels! Okay. So it's, um... It's, uh, it's got some Sotin in it, huh? I always appreciate some Sotin in my Metroidvanias. Hedia no Q. Okay. Are you- is that a real Toho? I've never seen that Toho. I've never seen these. I- I don't- I don't know them, I- I, I disavow them. No particular reason. Okay. I do know that everyone in Toho is, like, supremely lazy as well. Must be imposter making me as it is. Oh, you're the save lady. Okay, got it. She's she's the female save Dave. Telephone booth. Oh sweet, we don't have mobile phones here. Don't worry about the details if you make okay. So not not just for this game, but one thing I decided. An unfortunate aspect of YouTube is like if I record, I usually- oh, got some snooky nuts going on here. Um, that's gotta be censored for the YouTubes. Um... Um... How... 
How do? Why oh, can't Toho crawl? God damn it. Um. Oh, ow. Okay. Um. What was I gonna say? Oh yeah. But um. Unfortunate aspect of YouTube is you never really know which videos are gonna take off, and so I've been kind of bit in the butt a few times, more than a few times really, by recording a whole long series of a game that like not lots of people end up watching. Um. So kind of, do I get my MP back if I get the swords back? I do. Um. And then it just kind of restores slowly. All right, got it. Um, so the way I kind of plan to go forward is um, Mr. Bean is back. Um, I'm going to do a quick look. I'm going to focus on quick looks. And if I want to play more of a game than just the first 15 to 30 minutes, um, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'll stream the rest of it, probably. It kind of depends on the game, kind of depends on how I'm feeling. but. Um, I'll probably do, you know, the first 15, 30 minutes of this, and then if I want to play more of it, I'll probably just stream it instead of, you know, recording bit by bit. Woo. I know you. You're the Kappa. Flight test was a success. Aren't Kappas supposed to like pickles or something, though? That's, that's a bean. Anyways, human. What are you doing here? This tutorial seems to be impossible. You filthy imposters. You gotta have just just a little bit of that pixel jiggle, though. So you gotta have it. Flight testing will do some buizness. You should write that on your buizness cards. Even there's so much jiggle that even the text box is jiggle. You can't use your power, right? How do you know? If you use this, you control your power to stop time. Okay, give, just give me my Metroidvania item. I was not expecting so much dialogue. I guess, you know, press X to stop time. Okay, so the snail time eternal clock. You now stop time whenever you want. To the manipulate time. Not the full extent of the thing I can do. I need to depend on a tool. Okay. Now this really reminds me of Bunny Must Die. Obviously it's because, like I said, Bunny Must Die, uh, the character's time abilities are at least partially um, based on that. There's a lot of fun. So delicious. Some delicious beepus. Um, there's a lot of fun. Um, <laughs> it just drops tons of them, huh? Oh, I can't go there. It does not look like a wall, but okay. Um, there's tons of um, gaming and anime references in Bunny Must Die. It's a really fun game that I think. Uh, if you like Metroidvanias at all, you should check out. Get, get out of my life. Door. Okay, so this door flips around, obviously, but... Uh-oh. Oh! Oh, I see. Um, how do I do the time slow thing again? Okay. Got it. I don't like the cats. Why, why the two tail cats? Why, why, why two tails? That's wrong. Is that like some Japanese folklore thing? I don't know. Probably is. I assume considering the little, the spookums ghosts. Oops. Get through a knife like this. Thing. The only game in the universe where knives are magic points. Oh, I see you, secret. I see you, Mr. Secret Man. Ooh, now we're talking. I didn't get. Oh, this reminds me. I never finished my. I, I like barely even started. I need to stream. Um. What's it called? Rabby Ribby. That's a really good Metroidvania as well. Um, <laughs> I ended up playing it on my own instead so I could like be prepared for doing a Let's Play. And then I didn't do the Let's Play. Well, I did I did one episode. Very creepy Kappas. Did you know that a traditional way to defeat Kappas is to fart at them? You, you, just Google Defense Against Kappa. You'll find it. Trust me. It's on Wikipedia, so it can't be false. Bathtub here. If I tie it in water, the water solidifies. Won't be able to move. I should be careful. Okay. This. Okay. That, that makes total sense, because, you know. Fluid is a thing, but air is not a thing, actually. How do I. Oh, oh, I get it. We gotta stop time. Oh, wait, no, I gotta stop time. There we go. <laughs> you can graze and time stop? That is cheap. Of course, the traditional thing is to, like, stop time and, you know, D.O. it up. 
I wonder if this is supposed to be kind of based on Dio. I guess Dio, um... The time stop actually could instead be a reference to Dio and Bunny Must Die. I should hold my tongue, because there's, um... There's multiple other explicit, um... JoJo's Bizarre Adventures ex things in that game, but it does remind me of Suyuka. But they're probably just based on the same thing. Dang, time stop uses time instead of MP. We even have a time gauge? This is so Bunny Must Die-ish. I wonder if this is this was kind of inspired by that. Bunny Must Die is a pretty classic. Um, Metroidvania. Made in like 2005, I want to say, something like that. I can't. I'm not allowed to open the red doors. <laughs> I like the shoot 'em up um, robot lady voice for the grazes and stuff. Gives me good shoot 'em up vibe thoughts. Level up. What? What does my level do? I'm not fully aware of this. That. <laughs> This is a bit too much flair on this, the scrolly thingies. It's like, I just want to be able to read what it says. Right, so we get different... Alright, so there's attack, time... There's different types of gems. Is this... Uh, I didn't realize I was playing Luigi's Mansion. I kind of do want to play Luigi's Mansion. How was that remake, by the way? Did it really add much? I don't think I ever want to play a game on my 3DS again. My 3DS is kind of dying. And I never really liked the 3DS a whole lot to begin with. It hurts my hands. I even got the big one, it still hurts my hands. Warp zone. Can't teleport to a warp zone you haven't seen before. Alright. So very Soten. That's a complaint I see about a lot of Metroidvania games. Oh, it, it's all it's just all Metroid. There's no there's no um, Castlevania in it. And I, I never really found it to be a big deal. Um um, it's just saying it's a game kind of like these games that you know. It's not explicitly, hey, this is exactly 50% Metroid, 50% Castlevania. But um, I do appreciate when games have some Soten flair in it. Bunny Must Die has a lot of Soten. It's a very explicitly Metroidvania if you want to be that picky about it. There are some games that I would say are purely, purely Metroid, no Castlevania, like... Um, I froze myself, got it. So I was like in the water, I guess. Oh, I can't break that, I guess. Um, Axiom Verge is a great example of a, you know, it's a Metroid, I guess clone, but, well not clone, I don't know. Depends how negatively you mean clone, because like it's an extremely good game, it has a lot of unique stuff on it, but it's very clearly going for that Metroid 1 vibe. A vibe very few games go for. Because Metroid 1 hurts <laughs> a lot, but it's a really good game, and it does not have the 30 energy issue that Metroid has. I'm, I'm amazed that ROM hacks don't generally fix that, by the way, when you... Um, what was it called? There's a really good Metroid ROM hack, Metroid 1 ROM hack, that makes it look almost like an SNES game. It looks really good. Um, I forget the name of it, but I was baffled that it still has the 30 energy thing when you, when you die. It's so annoying. Okay, so you get less grace points when time stopped, got it. Okay. Is the clock working? Thanks. Okay. Well, she installs phones now. Store is ready. Oh, there's a store! Cool! Again, very, very... Very Soten-like. Buy the jewels. Okay. Precious resources. Okay. Where's the store? Do you, do you have- do you- can you let me crawl? Is that- is that a thing? Parker, calm down. Save complete- oh, okay. Where's- Where's the store, then? I seem to be stuck this way, so I gotta keep- I gotta find something. Uh, look, I can go up from over here, maybe? Did I read this? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, gotta... Oops. I guess I should be collecting more of the things than the money. There should be like a timeout. Oh, I can't jump that high. 
game. What do I what what do game? Do I gotta go back to where I found um where I found Kappa Lady maybe to do the shop? Alright. Uh oh. Oh, oh, oops. Okay, you gotta go a different way. Okay, that's why it does that. Oops. <laughs> I like it when it gives me grace points for just running directly into an enemy's face. <laughs> because of that I didn't bother to attack it. Alright, what you got? Did I go? Yeah, I went that way. Are you the shop? Okay, this is the sh Okay, shop. I can sell jewels. I gotta sell jewels individually? I wonder if there's a reason to keep them. I'm gonna hope not for now. That seems like it would be cruel for the game to do that and not tell you. Um. Oh, you can buy like a one-time phone. <laughs> That's very, um, it's a very um, early Metal Gear Solid icon there. Status upgrade. I can't buy any of this game. I don't have nearly enough for anything. Um, uh oh. It wouldn't be a Metroidvania if I didn't get lost. Let me see if there's a control that I missed. A skill change up, down. Button zero? I don't think I have skills. Skills. So there's red doors that I can't open. Maybe if I o stop time. No. I figure if when I can open the door, it would tell me. Like, hey. Doors. There's no tutorial for red doors, so like... Huh? Oh, come on. I mean, you usually have to get a thing to be able to crawl as, as an Metroid, so maybe that's what's going on. Oh, dead. Take a nap over here. I have no. I don't know how to progress, unfortunately. I... I still can't crawl. Even even when time stopped, I don't know how to operate a crawl. Um. <laughs> well. Hmm. So I for sure can't use this thing, right? point in going back to the shop anyway. I can kind of glide about, but that doesn't really help me. I the buttons. I'm not allowed to do that. Hmm. Maybe I'm, I must have missed something down here, is my only assumption. Get something from the trash? No. Hmm. Oops. Uh, we've got stuff in the water again. Okay. Oh, there's a thing! Oh god, I'm stupid. I, I didn't see the little thing! Oh. Now I feel dumb. Okay. So there was, in fact, a thing. Oh, you're a bad guy. Stop. <laughs> Sorry about that. I thought you were an NPC. I guess if it's not. An anime girl is probably not an NPC, is it? I got little, like, skirt flute physics. Alright. I should have seen that. Th what are you? Like, Mr. Chompy Face, man. I, sh I didn't- I just thought that was, like, a decoration or something. Oh, they're like, faces break apart. I don't like that. So, like, specifically Tanuki statues, not Tanuki... Tanukis. Oh, I, I know what I gotta do. 
uh, I think. No? No? Uh, I think what I gotta do there is like bounce off their heads, but I don't appear to have an ability to do that right now. There's a room and Bunny must die exactly like that, by the way, so... I do have my suspicions. Got some Bunny must die inspiration. It's a very good game to take inspiration from. It's a very funny game, too. Alright. Let's find one more. Let's, let's if we can find a boss, ideally, or one more telephone. And I might go back to this. I might stream this, like I said. My new sort of maybe policy is I'll try to do quick looks, and then if I want to check it out again, I'll try and stream because I want to stream more. And um, I. S Ow. Oh. <laughs> Why does the fish make me explode into blood? Other things do not seem to make me do that, but the fish specifically. Very dangerous fish, I don't like it. I can't go through there. Right, so I was right in everything except for that one door. I thought like I had to get missiles to break the door or something, but no. But no, cannot crawl, cannot operate red doors. But these doors. I'll just stop time, why not? Item get. You got sliding knife! This can't crawl, but you can you can do this. Leg knife, go. You should just got a big ol' leg knife. Why not? Um, go- slide- let- oh, okay. Alright, so you gotta do the slide- the, there we go, okay, it's jump, not attack. I guess that makes sense, that's the way it usually is. Ow. Okay, so slide knife, not a very great weapon. Oh, I should've known that I was gonna get the slide knife, because you, you see this room, there's this one-way exit, that's a great- a great way to do Metroidvania stuff, you always gotta, like, make it so that you can't, um, leave the item, that you get an item, without using that air. you can't, bleh. You can't leave the area you get an item in without using that item, to kind of, like, a forced tutorial. And it works pretty well, it gives you, it's, uh, human memory works like if you, um, if you actually do a thing, it, it encodes in your memory a lot better than if you just read about it, so doing is a lot better. Than, uh, than seeing. So, for tutorials, ideally have the player kind of try to figure it out on their own and just actually do it. And then after a while, I like it when after a while a tutorial text pops up and says, hey, you can do this thing. I'm like dying. Oh, there's a, there's a health arena thing over here. Right? Oh. Woo! Parker. Parker, I need to be able to see, honey. No, the, the heal Reno thing was like way back. Oh, I leveled up. No, oh, no heals for that though. Parker? Parker, you're gonna get, get me killed, buddy. Alright. Woo! Elevator Shinto Lantern. Didn't realize it could be used as such. Oh, <laughs> there's water. Oh, I get what I gotta do. Then you gotta do that. Okay. Those fish are surprisingly vicious. I've never seen a fish take that many knives in the face. It's not a fish of that size. Oh, thank goodness. Give me some, yes. Give me some of that spicy hot beepus. All right. So... There's only really one place I can think of to go. There's that... I think there's a couple places to crawl. But there's like that one in that very first area. Let me go try that real quick, I guess. Unless, was there a crawlable thing here? There was. I guess if you try and slide attack, it at least gives you lots of grace points. <laughs> it looks really awkward, but... Whatever works. Oh gosh. I see your secrets. Let's take those back. <laughs> I like that you get the knives back and that gives you back your MP. That's a cute way to handle it. Uh, okay. So I gotta go from up here. Excuse me. There we go. What do I get? What am I doing with my hands here? You got auto aim throw and I thought automatically aim to the enemy. Is that my Y button? Yep, that's the Y button. Okay. Eh? 
Oh, it's obviously breakable, but I don't have super missiles, so I guess I can't open it. Oh. <laughs> uh, I love when games let you get stuck and you have to use, like, a move. Like, no, you're not allowed to crawl. There's no- no, you can't crawl. You, you just gotta do the thing. Because obviously doing a sliding kick is ex is a lot less, you know... A lot less effort is expended to do a sliding kick than to uh, crawl. Crawling is the one of the most energy-intensive things that the human body is capable of. I don't even know if... <laughs> I'm like... Grooving out to the music with my little hands there. Alright, I'm gonna go get this item back here. I'm gonna see what this- oh. Wait, did I get one-way doored? I don't think I did. There was a thing way back here, and I want to get it. Before I forget. I guess I should use my time thing or more. When I, like, just do not give... A single intercourse. <laughs> if you don't care, just why not do this? Ow. I guess that's why the time gauge thing, you can just run past everything. Alright. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay, so it was like... Down this way? No, it was... I think it's that middle room up here. You're not the middle room. Man, you need a lot of gold to get- Yep, there it is, there it is. What's this? Stun knife. Throw a stun knife and electric shock. That's another skill. How do I change skills? Oh, wait. Oops. No, don't waste all my MP. I don't know how to change. Skill change up. Is that like L and R? Okay, there we go. I don't know if the button was bound, which is weird because I'm using a Xbox One controller, which you would think would be pretty default, but whatever. I like the little deer heads. Out of my way. Who put like scarves on all of these cats? Just an army of scarf cats. Get out of my way. Um... Did I... Yeah, I went through that, so... Can't go through that. Well, I don't know when the first boss is gonna be. So... Hmm. It can't be that much longer, right? I, I want to see a boss before I end this. This feels weird to end a Metrovania without even being at a boss, right? Level up. Oh, I should probably... Wait. Is this even... No, this is where I'm going. Yeah. I hope there's a health up before the next boss, but whatever. Just be a bit more careful. Health ups are a bit few and far between. I like the way Bunny Must Die does it, where, like, saving gives you... heals you. It also makes interest, it interesting for uh, save points because, or for speedruns because, um, oh hey, there's a red key. Um, save points actually add like 60 seconds to your time. If you're using the in-game clock anyway, which is pretty good. Oh wait, that's just, okay, so no one there. Uh oh. Lost this way maybe? It's got that trepidation room kind of feel to it, don't you think? You gotta have a long winding corridor, though. I kind of like... Oh, come on. There we go. I kind of like how Axiom Verge was very explicit with its boss rooms. I guess I should use... Oh, here we go. Now, this is obviously a boss, like, threshold. You possess the skill and press Y to use it. Hold down Y to change it. Oh! No, I, I would rather use my shoulder buttons, thanks. What's up, Notori? How you doing? I 
improved a vending machine that fell through a parallel universe. You can drink delicious juice. You know, I really think that uh, the writing of the Toho series is really what makes it appealing to people. I think the boss fight is soon. I could guess. Oh, we got a bridge. We got some bridge action. The fight on the old bridge. It's Chinese lady! She's got those swooshy hands going on. I won't let you take one step further. Frickin' ret2go.gif going on over here. I'm gonna pass, defeat me, blah blah blah. You gotta do the classic. Oh, come on. What? Why did my time? Oh, I ran out of time. Okay. I think it uses time when I throw knives, too. It doesn't use MP when I'm. Yeah, that's how it works. Ugh. So, this is the obligatory. Did you learn how to use that time stop feature yet, boss? Rainbow Hadoukens? She gets Rainbow Hadoukens. I don't get Rainbow Hadoukens. That's... Come on. Give me Rainbow Hadoukens. It's, it's the only way. It's the only way to be. Ow. She looks like it's freaking Swan Kicks, which I don't get. Oh, Alright. We gotta have a bridge fight. Maybe they do more damage from behind. I don't think they do. Ow. I love how gently brushing against somebody's like shoulder makes me explode into blood. Just like real life. I like how I stack too many knives and they like go over her head somehow. Oh, so eventually they, you can graze again on them. Can I hit? Oh. As long as she's not standing still, I can hit her. Blood Hadouken. I got Bowser on the ropes. Oh no! Don't do the- don't do angry boss mode! I don't have any HP left for that BS. Oh no! I gently touched her back, which made me explode. Crap. I hate when that happens. Alright, one more time. I hope that, like... I hope that block does not, like, persist. No, it doesn't. Okay, good. Ah. I don't- I don't get a guard! Wait, can I make her, like, destroy the bridge? Is that, like, a thing? Are you telling me there's boss fight mechanics? Or no? Ah. I think maybe it's just shaking for like dramatic effect. Hard to say though. Can I graze the- yeah, you can. Okay. So I should be grazed. I guess this is, you're supposed to graze in Toho stuff. That makes sense. Point. Whoop! What a terrible final attack. She stands still for just long enough for you to jump over her, and then she uses like a one directional thing. My health is still really low though. Oop. Come on. Woo! I didn't think that would be enough. Of course she explodes, as humans are known to do. But she's fine, though. The, people are like Voltorbs, they just explode. It's, it's not a big deal. 
You exploded. Legally speaking, you are defeated and you will have to let me pass. Siyuka san. Notice me. Thanks, buddy. Metroidvanias are complicated. I like the spooky castle in the background going on. Oh, new zone. Made in the pocket watch of blood. Okay. Mandragora in the area. <laughs> yep, that's a Mandragora, all right. All right, I'm just gonna save. That is um, Toho Luna Nights. Um, I'm gonna check this out and stream again. I, I'm, there's a bunch of really good Metroidvanias that I haven't really got in on lately. Um, I need to, I still need to play freaking Iconoclasts, which is sinful to have missed, but uh, expect probably a video or stream of that soon. Uh, maybe stream of this at some point. So, let me just do a little fancy dance there. Good night, everybody. Tap Tap here. If you liked the video, make sure to subscribe and leave a like if you want. I read every comment posted, so don't embarrass yourself. Social media links in the description, including my Patreon, and any relevant links to the game.